بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هاي ماي نيم از فيصل الحميدي اي ام ستودنت ان ذا ميكانيكال ديبارتمنت ان امر كورا يونيفرستي وي هاف اور فاينل بروجكت ويتش از توكينج اباوت بايو ديزل برودكشن فروم ويست فيجيتابل اويل سوبرفيجن باي دكتور سيد مرسي 3 موتورز 0.25 هورس باور ان ايتش تانك وورز اسيمبل and connected with a steer to mix the fluids. 1.2 kilowatt heater are assembled in the mixing tank and the washing tank. Each heater are attached to a thermostat. By this thermostat we control the temperature of the fluid inside the tank. Each thermostat has a range from 30 degree centigrade to 100 to 120 degree centigrade. This is the chemical tank. We will mix alcohol with sodium hydroxide in this tank. This is the mixing tank. We will put the used vegetable oil in this tank after the filtration process. This is the washing tank. The biodiesel will be washed in this tank as it will be shown later. This is a condenser. It will be used for collecting alcohol later. And this is our the control panel. The first step in our project is begin by collecting 25 liter of used vegetable oil from fast food restaurant. After that, we filtrate the used oil and we move it to the mixing tank. After that, we heated the used vegetable oil to 105 degrees centigrade to remove or vibrate any water in the oil. We let the used oil to cool down until it reaches 60 degrees centigrade. So we can begin the titration process. By the titration process, we will know the amount of sodium hydroxide to be added to the chemical reaction. In the titration, we need distilled water, methanol, isopropyl alcohol, phenolphthalein, and sodium hydroxide. A solution of one liter distilled water and one gram of sodium hydroxide has been made. To, to begin the titration process, one milliliter sample of the used vegetable oil has been taken at 55 degrees centigrade. We added 10 milliliter of isopropyl alcohol and three drops of phenolphthalein to the oil. 
after that a few drops or at a time of sodium hydroxide solution has been added at constant shake we repeated this several times until the color changed to pink and stay pink we measure the, the sodium hydroxide solution drops to know the amount we need to add it to 5 liter of methanol methanol and we put them in the chemical tank we mix them to 10 minutes the valve between the chemical tank and the mixing tank are fully opened to allow the methoxide to mix with oil the mixing occurs at 55 degrees centigrade when methoxide flow is finished the stirrer in the mixing tank is operated for mixing time of one hour after mixing is complete the mixture is left static for 24 hours to separate the two phases biodiesel and glycerol after 24 hours the separation are complete The biodiesel is drained to the washing tank through the outlet above the separation line of the glycerol. The glycerol is heated in the mixing tank to 75 degrees centigrade. To recover the excess methyl alcohol by the condenser. After that, we drain the glycerin to make the soap. After we drain the biodiesel into the washing tank, 8 liters of water are mixed with the biodiesel by a stirrer for 10 minutes. We leave it for 1 hour to separate. The water from the biodiesel is drained out. The procedure is repeated for four times until the water drain is crystal clear. This is our final project. After we drain the Gillis roll, a solution of 20 gram of sodium hydroxide and 200 milligram of water is added to the, to the heated Gillis roll and we stir it for 10 minutes. We put the, mix, the mixture in two molds, then we leave it to 24 hours to solidify. 